Hello and welcome back to the Chat Manager 0102 series on my YouTube channel. We're at Barcelona and in this episode, as I said, if you haven't gone and watched the first episode, which is technically episode two because the first episode is the one that says who do you want me to be, um, go and see that out. We go through all the players we've currently got in the squad and we've made a bid for Tomadira. However, in this episode, what we're doing is we're looking at the... What I... I don't want to call them cheap players... But that's pretty much what they are. We're looking at the players who are just phenomenal in this game. So we have Tiz, 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 Maxim. We have Maxim Tizgalko. If we buy him, he'll be called Maxim. Let me know. Do we get him in? We can't see anything about him at the moment. But he's a goal machine, isn't he? He's an absolute. We know that he's an absolute goal machine. Belarusian, no second nationality. Only speaks Russian. There, he's hoping the club can hold on to Vitali Voldovnik, who we don't know either. Um, Villarreal are interested in him, so that's quite an interesting sign. Can we nab him under Villarreal's noses? Next up on the sort of list of players that I have, um, there is Artem um, Andre, sorry, Andre Milievsky. I've spelt I've spelled that wrong horrendously. Andre Milievsky. Uh, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, I found him. Um, Andre Milievsky is meant to be incredible as well. Now, this is someone I've never actually had on Football Manager. If you know, On Football Manager? I've definitely not had him on Football Manager. On Championship Manager. If you've had him, let me know what he's like in the description below. Do we go and buy him? A holding midfielder, centre slash centre back, who we can play. You know, replacing one of the old guards who we've got that's running out of their age, like Philip Koku. R running out of their age is a very, way, very strange way of describing someone coming up to retirement. Running out of their age. Um... Let me know, you know, will he replace like Philip Koku and the people in midfield? Will he link up with Xavi? Will he play at the back next to Puyol? Who knows? You've got to let me know if you want to buy him. This is what today's episode is going to be. We're looking at some of the greats in the Champ Manager history. So we have Isaac Okernawurneru. And and also, you, you get to witness me absolutely badger and really get wrong names because... I'm terrible at them. Isaac Okoronukwu from Nigeria, currently at Shakhtar, feels he needs to lead to further his career. So, again, someone, a centre-back, right-back, left-back, do we get him in? We'll add him to the shortlist. Um, in fact, I should be doing this with all of them, shouldn't I? So, Mil... Oh, here we go again. I've got to use my cheat sheet that I've written down. That's why I keep looking over there. Andre Milevsky, so we'll add him to the shortlist as well. We're going to have a list. It's going to be about... 20 to 30 people on this list by the end of the episode, hopefully. We might run out of time, though. Um, who was the first one? We looked at Tiz Galco, didn't we? So, Tiz, Tiz Galco. I'll put a G in there, Mr. Computer. Um, now, my concern here is that when we add to shortlist, Villarreal will go straight in with bid. They didn't. That's fine. Um, so, next up is the classic, Toribo West. Obviously, I did that last time, didn't I? I did that in episode one, Toribo West. Let me know. Do we go for, let me know, do we go for Taribo West? We'll add him to the shortlist. I think a lot of you see, as soon as you make it, add him to the shortlist, a lot of other teams go in. So we're going to just, we're going to we're gonna offer him a contract as a squad rotation player. We're just going to give him what he wants. Um, but in the next episode, if, in the comments below, if you guys say, you know, you don't want Taribo West, then I'll just cancel it if he decides to move to us. That's not a problem at all. Uh, next up on my list of cheat sheets is someone who sadly has passed away, and that is Asani Ndaye from Shakhtar Donetsk, 27 year old Senegalese. Good, lots of lots of appearances. We'll add him to our shortlist as well, and we'll keep going down this list. The next one is one of my all time favourite signings, who is a go to guy, Dionis Chiotis, who is the backup goalkeeper um, at AEK in the game. And it was always odd. I always thought, you know, what would that do in real life? If you were the backup goalkeeper at a club and then suddenly, you know, like Man United, Barcelona, Real Madrid sign you for 250k and you become their starting goalkeeper. I was like, that's a little bit odd. But it can it happens in Champ Manager a lot of the time because I know a lot of people sign him. Then there's obviously the Scottish wonder kid. The Scottish wonder, Mark Kerr. Now this guy was just insane how good he got absolutely insane so again Hibs make a bid um, as soon as we go in we'll just offer 325k because I'm pretty sure that's his release or well, that's just his value so we'll just offer that at the moment 
and uh, he's just he just absolutely insane Mark Kerr. Mark Kerr there so Lewis Buxton the center back a lot of these people I do remember uh, Lewis Buxton turns pretty good in the future we've got him on the transfer list that you know you can't see too much of him at the moment but we know he turns pretty good right um, I don't recognize the next name either which is Boy Burns I think is just how you pronounce it okay from Parramatta Power so I'm going there's a list of players here that I'm going through and even I don't recognize some of them and I played champ manager 0102 to death like and I mean to death so much so that I had to have a break for like seven years and then I came back and played it again and had another break of like four years it's a game you very much get addicted to. So um, other people, there's obviously Fernando Torres. We know what he's like. He's, he's probably not going to be a soldier. But I'm going to look at some other people on this list I've got of players that I've never really heard of before. And it's not Wex Storm, it's Wex Storm. So this guy, Christopher Wexstrom from Derby, 18-year-old finish. Why are Derby so good? We'll add him to the shortlist. If we go to Derby, obviously that's where um, Zola Makoko is as well, who is definitely going on to our shortlist because he's an absolute goal machine. So, um, we're going to be putting our scouts to good use as well. What I want to know is, yeah, if, if I'm missing anyone off this list or there's anyone you want me to sign specifically, then you've got to let me know. While we've gone in for one goalkeeper, we might as well go in and have a look at another. Sebastian Frey, again, a ridiculously good goalkeeper in this game. I'm sure a lot of you know about him. You have Julius Agahawa as well um, from Shakhtar Donetsk. And it would really help if I could learn to spell Agahawa. I... It must be that then. Julius Agahawa, there he is, got there eventually. 19 years old, nine caps for Nigeria. Had a yeah, pretty rubbish spell at Wigan Athletic in the Premier League in the future. Julius Agahawa is there. Who else is on this list that I've not really heard of? Um, Tonetto. Max Tonetto, never heard of him. 26 years old. Let's add him to the shortlist. If there's people that you want me to look at, all you've got to do is comment below. Leave a like if you're liking the video as well. Subscribe if you're new. All that jazz. Oh, my God. How did I forget? How did I forget? Cherno Samba. Get on the shortlist, my friend. Get on the shortlist. Um, there was a very good, like, uh, blog that I... It was called... This is the, over at the Set Pieces, and they did a... Uh, Cherno Samba came in and did a little piece with them. It was, it was pretty good to read. Um... Who else don't I know of? It is Pa Madua Ka. Pa Madua Ka isn't on that list. So let's see. Mado. There he is. Pa Madua Ka. I don't know why he didn't show up for. 21 from Valerenga. That doesn't sound like a. I don't know what a Norwegian name sounds like. I used to work with a Norwegian and he didn't have a name like that. But yeah, I mean, there's, this list has got so many people on it. Risp is someone I've signed. I used to sign a lot. Um, so we'll go and have a look at him. Frederick Risp, you can always normally get him quite cheap as well. The My go-to tactic on this was to go to the Sweden under-21s and buy anyone that had a, a minimum fee release clause. And they generally turned out pretty pretty good. So uh, we'll look at Cipriani as another one on my list that I can't spell, even though it's right in front of me. Cipriani. There we go. Uh, Giacomo is the one we're looking for from Bologna. Um, oh, didn't Bologna have... Oh, he's already moving to Juventus. That's annoying, isn't it? Well, let's still add him to the transfer list. Didn't Bologna have, like, Di Stefano or something? Signori! Giuseppe Signori. He... I know he's 33. He scored goals for fun in this game. Absolute fun. Do you know what? I'm going to add him to the shortlist in case he ever gets released on a free from Bologna. I'm not saying we'll buy him, but... Yeah, that's... I used to love Giuseppe Signori. Uh, Luca Toni obviously went on had a really very good career for um, uh, Italy in real life. I've had 59 pages of players. Let's just search for him properly, Dave. Don't be lazy. Luca Toni. Luca Toni from Brescia. Already 24. Relegation release clause. We'll add him to the shortlist as well. And uh, yeah, I mean, all these players that are just bringing flooding back of memories. Like, even when I was playing this before in this year, I didn't look at this list of names. So I haven't, as I said, I've, I've not even experienced quite a few of these players. Michael Dunwell, never heard of him before in my life. Playing out in, where's that? New Zealand or Australia? Oh no, it's in England, Bishop Auckland. Why did I think that was? Because of the name Auckland, that's why I thought it was someone else. Add him to shortlist. How did someone like this get put into the game and still get kept at 
like Bishop Auckland. It's absolutely ridiculous. Kennedy Baccaraloglu. Kennedy. Oh my, that, what spelling is that? K-E-N-E-N-E-D-Y I put for Kennedy. Kennedy. Ken, his name should stick out like a sore thumb. Kennedy Baccaraloglu is in as well. Add to the shortlist. Oh my word. We'll go and, what we'll do is once we've added these names to the shortlist, we'll go and just look at the shortlist and admire it. Pinheiro. I don't recognise that name. All these players I must have missed out on in my youth. Thinking I had signed all of the best players available in the game. When clearly I, I just hadn't. I clearly just hadn't. Is it Hugo? Yeah, Hugo Pinario. Portuguese. Okay, let's add him to the shortlist. As they, they haven't made a bid yet just because we're interested, which is good. Um, I mean, so many good players. Cal Calzuni. Vladislav Kalzuni from Kotbus, 27. Oh my god. He's incredible. Ag well, aggression 20, balance 20, bravery 20, determination 20, jumping 18. So is, is there a better central midfielder in the game? Uh, like maybe Roy Keane and Patrick Vieira were better than him, but oh my god, he looked very, very good. Costanzo. Costanzo. I mean, literally, you're watching a video of me just typing names and looking at people. That can't be very interesting, but thank you very much for sticking around. Franco Costano at River. Did River have Kevin Kavanagi? They did. Fernando Kavanagi. Get him on the shortlist as well. Uh, Maxi Lopez. I used to love signing him. Add to shortlist. Where was uh, where was Diego Forlan around this time? Was he uh, was he at Independiente? I think that's who Man United bought him from. Diego, yeah, Independiente. Diego Forlan. We'll get him on the shortlist as well. Why not? Why not? Um, yeah, I think, you know, we've been looking at quite a few people. Let's go and check out the shortlist and see um, what it's like at the moment. Now, this is going to test me, isn't it? There it is. Play start this shortlist. So, value-wise, the most expensive player is Luca Toni. Um, cheapest is Toribio West on a free, then Toe Madeira, and we're probably going to sign both of them anyway. Hugo Pinherio is there with other clubs interested in him as well. But... It's a good list at the moment. It's a good list. 29 players on it so far. Oh, yeah. It's it's get, it's making me all excited thinking of all these players. Emil Debski. He was always one that turned into a really, really good player. Um, I mean, there's so many more. Bro, Brozek is on this list. Pavel Brozek. 18-year-old Polish guy. We'll add him to the shortlist as well. We're going to be signing so many of these players just on a on a whim on someone else's list. Oh, Mike Duff, the right back, is he? Was it Mike Duff, the right back? Yeah. Oh, he was very, very good as well. I remember that. We're going to probably be very top-heavy. I imagine this shortlist is very... So, so we've got four goalkeepers on the shortlist. Then we have quite a few defenders. Uh, not, very mid not very many central midfielders or general midfielders. And then a lot of attacking players on this list. So we're going to have to be careful with what, who we buy and where. Chances are I'm going to sell everyone in the B team and just fill this up with people that I want and people that I'm going to buy from, from uh, the youth sort of side of it. But yeah, it's so much fun doing this. Again, you're going to have to let me know if I've missed anyone out that you really want to sign. Um, Farnerad was incredible, I think, from like Champ Manager 0102 onwards till until a very long time into football manager days, Alexander Farnerod was good. We'll, uh, we'll have both Farnerods to the list, just just in case, to see how they get on. I'll try to think if there's any on this list that I also really recognise. Uh, oh, Sanlai Tunkai was very good. Yeah, he was very good and very young on this. And he turned in to be very good. And then he didn't quite have the same career in real life. But uh, it was, yeah, interesting to see it. I mean... Uh, who else is on this list? Who else? I think as I scroll down it, it's just people repeating the same names. But there are a couple more on here. Let's go and look at Bar Som. Um, he was on here as well. Bar Som. Abgar Bar Som. Oh, Jagarden. Oh, my word. Thinking of Jagardens. Where is he? Where is he? Was he not at Jagarden at this point? Kim Kalstrom. Oh, he's still at Hacken. Wow, yes, add to shortlist. Oh, and obviously, the big Zlatan at Ajax, add to the shortlist. I mean, is oh, who else am I missing? Oh, obviously, I've already mentioned his name. Now that I've started thinking about it, I'm having loads. Russen Nigla Matulan. Stats don't look brilliant, but 
He was by far one of the best goalkeepers in the game. Do you know what? I'm so excited. I can't wait to see your comments on uh, um, episode two, this one. Episode three, sorry. This one here. But, yeah, we're going to end it there because I think we've got, what's this, like 30 players now on our shortlist? 39 players in that like, little split second. We jump from 29 to 39. We do have 94 million to spend, so we probably should be able to buy absolutely anybody we want. The problem we're going to have is that I think in the whole squad altogether, if we go sort by... Is it squad number? No, I wanted to uh, view... No, I wanted to look at our squad numbers. Obviously, no one has any. I think it's 50 is the maximum players you can have. So there's obviously going to be some outs from the squad, um, and there's going to be some... Well, some outs and a lot of ins. There, there's a high chance that a lot of these Barcelona B players are going to be released on free transfer, but what can you do about that? And we're going to replace them with a lot of youngsters, I imagine, from this shortlist. So I really hope you're enjoying this series. I know it's in its early days. What we'll do is we'll come back for your opinions on who we should buy and where we should invest and people that I've probably forgot to look at. But And then we're going to crack into the season, which sees us have a couple of friendlies. We'll play. I'll probably do the qualifiers offline because we can do them. I love the fact it goes qualifier, friendly, 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 first division game, friendly. I love also the fact we're going Denmark, Denmark, like a tour of Denmark, just with a little fixture back in Spain against Valladolid in the middle of it, back out to Denmark, and then away to Yugoslavia, and then we kick off at home to Zaragoza and Real Madrid quite early on in the season as well. Oh, it's going to be a good row. Incredible. Zinedine Zidane, incredible. I can remember a game once when I must have been about 16, 15 or 16, and we were playing Champ Andro 102, and... Uh, my mate and I were man, we were man United, or did we create a team? Either way, we gave ourselves. We went to the editor and basically did the highest reputation for a club you can get, which I think is like two thousand or twenty thousand or something like that. In the editor, uh, gave them as much money as you could, which I think at the time was like one billion or maybe nine point nine billion or something. And we signed Zinedine Zidane from Real Madrid on a part-time contract, giving him something like. 80 or 90 grand a week on a part-time contract. I think that was right. Maybe even more than that. Must have been more than that. And he agreed to move. And it was just like, I can remember us laughing like little schoolgirls about how we thought, you know, we've picked up Zidane and he's playing part-time. He's not even like there. He doesn't have to come training. Just turn up for the games. That's all we did. Anyway, I'm rambling. Thank you very much for watching and tuning into this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you like the series, like the idea of it, like what we're doing. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Um, you can find all my descriptions and stuff down below for Twitch, Twitter, and Patreon if you so wish to donate anything to the channel. The plan is, if I get enough Patreons and who are donating money and we make enough money from this channel, I'm going to invest in a green screen so that you don't have to see what's behind me, which will eventually be a sofa because we're going to buy a new sofa for my man room. It's a spare bed. It's a spare room. Singapore, space is a premium, so we've got to double up rooms. I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to do videos when we have guests. That's something I need to figure out. But yeah, let me know. If you want to chat about anything in these videos, this will be a good time to do it because the game is text-based. The game is number and text-based. It's not like Football Manager nowadays where you have little people and little dots running around. It is purely text-based. So it will be a great thing to get some interaction going and chatting with you guys if we can. But again, I'm rambling. This happens a lot on my videos where I do the outro because I remember of lots of things I want to say. But thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, we'll be back next weekend with the next installment of Champ Manager 0102. Go and check out the other stuff on the channel as well. There's a series on Pro Evolution Soccer 2019 and Football Manager 18 as well with my team here in Singapore. But for now, I'm out. Cheers.